this tribute video, and I, of all people, am not a words person, but uh, I just wanted to say that, you know, Lisa's an absolutely amazing woman. Uh, and the amount of time I've known her, I, I feel blessed to definitely ha have had her in my life. Um, I'm not very good with serious stuff, but I, I will tell an interesting memory. Um, they, it was supposed to be your favorite memory, but it's going to be, I'll say, the, the most everlasting one uh, down in Buford way back in the day. I uh, was visiting Nicole, and um, we were at a party, and I may or may not have had several mini drinks, and uh, of course, I was trying to show off and kind of try to in impress her. And for some reason, I was sitting down in front of Lisa, and she pushed my head down and like clamped her legs around it. And, um, for me to show off, for some odd reason, it was a great idea for me to try to stand up, at which point, most people didn't know, I somehow managed to twist my spine and uh, ended up in physical therapy for like six months. And uh, that spot in my back, at random times, feel like I could be like at a movie theater and go to stand up or stretch or something, and that spot in my back, till this day, still locks up, and it's a constant reminder of her. But uh, like Lisa, you're absolutely amazing. Um, and I just hope I uh, kind of get, get to spend some more time time with you. <laughs> Say, I love you. I love you. Why do you love your mom? Because I love mommy. Because <laughs> you have Aunt Lisa? She, uh, she got me a mm, I love her because. Most moms don't do what she does. She does for us. Bro, why are you with mom? Uh, yeah. I said why. Because she's the best. I love her because she's awesome. That's right. Can you hold it on me? <laughs> Thank you for being the sister I always wanted. We love you. Okay. We love you. We love you. I love you too. We all do. I love you too. Happy birthday, Lisa. Yeah. Um, hope you have a wonderful day. Um, good things are coming your way. I can feel it. The house is awesome. The new job sounds awesome. Uh, the fact that we're closer now is awesome. So we're excited for you and love you. So good luck with everything. Happy birthday, Lisa. Love you. Glad you're part of the family. Yep. Proud of everything Always you Always will do. be, whether you want to be or not. Bye. Right. Love you. And wisest of the Dunn sisters, I have been asked to share my favorite moment with Lisa of Lisa. Here it is. Hope you guys can see that okay. Anyway, that is our first Christmas together and when Lisa was first born and it was all downhill from there. Just kidding, of course. Lisa, happy birthday. I love you very much and I'm very proud of you. You're a strong and independent woman. And when I say strong, I don't mean strong as in the gym, which of course you are, but that kind of strong is fleeting. But strong of heart and strong of mind and determination and I'm proud of you and I know mom and dad would be proud of you and I love you very much and boys please give your mom 40 big birthday spankings for moving you all so far away so that I can't even give you a birthday hug. All right, love you very much, miss you, happy birthday. I've been thinking about this for the last couple of days about what I want to do for your birthday in our tribute video to you. So the wife and I are walking around. I thought this is a perfect outfit and attire. I just wanted to say, because she told me I have, you know, no cojones, to tell you happy birthday. We love you very much and always know that me and my family are always here for you. And I can't believe that you're 40, girl. You still look great. And uh, I wish I could be there to share this great day with you. Love you, miss you, and hope to see you soon. Jed Lowry's, that, that grand slam yesterday was his eighth or his ninth home run on the season this year. Oh, hi, Lisa. I'd like to wish you a happy birthday, first and foremost. If you don't remember me, this is a drill instructor, Staff Sergeant UC. Um, I'm going to tell you a story that you might not even be aware of and how I remember you the best. One night, we were out drinking. We were, we were out with a couple of people, and we did some pretty heavy drinking, as we would normally do there in uh,
Beaufort, South Carolina, heading back to the barracks. We uh, got on the catwalk and started getting rough and physical, not like that or anything. But we, um, I attempted to show you some, some new Marine Corps martial arts techniques that I had just learned in, in this great class. And um, you counter demonstrated some pretty amazing martial art techniques of your own. And somehow or another slammed me down and uh, I started bleeding or something. But nonetheless, we said goodnight. Everyone was happy and everyone went their own way and you left and walked off. And about 20 minutes later, the PMO showed up to my barracks room and took me into the station and started questioning me because someone had called that there was an assault on the catwalk in the staff and CO barracks and that uh, a guy who they identified as me had attacked a female. Um, you might not even know that that happened afterwards, but I had to sit down there and explain that, yes, we were demonstrating proper MCMAP techniques and the only thing we really were at fault for was we didn't have a corpsman with us at the time. Um, so I was told no more McMap on the catwalk there in the barracks. Um, other than that, everything else I remember about you is you were a, an amazing drill instructor. I heard a lot of great things about you. It was great to work with you. It was great to be a part of that whole experience with you. Uh, and those are times that I will never forget, that, that I cherish. There, there are times that I wish I could go back. Um, and then there are times when I look around at what I'm doing now and think, hell no, I would never go back. But I do miss it. Um, and I hope you have a great birthday, uh, happiest 40 years. I mean, it's, it's just getting better from here. So make the best of it, uh, set your sights, live your dreams. And it was really, truly an honor to be a drill instructor with you and the time that we were. All right, uh, now I'm getting back to work. We're gonna talk about a game coming up today on Root Sports Southwest. First pitch is at 12.10 and that is central time. If you'd like to tune in, uh, look for it on your DirecTV dial. Hey, Mamacita. Uh, before I do my tribute, Nick did not want to be on film. Shocker. Uh, but he did write you a poem, and he spelled aunt right. Uh, so I'm going to read it for him. As some leaves blow, as some trees grow, human life is the only thing that gets older. Some days we are happy, some days we are mad. You're 40 now, aren't you glad? He also wanted me to add that you are now older than most trees, but younger than most buildings in Aiken. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna uh, follow that one, but I'm gonna try. Uh, happy birthday. I love you. You are truly one of the most amazing people I have ever met in all of my life. Uh, I can't pick one memory. I can't. Uh, in 18 years, we have done so much. And no matter what we were doing, if we were hanging out, uh, watching a movie, or hanging out by the pool, or peeling wallpaper, no matter what we do, we have a good time doing it. Uh, you motivate me, and not in, in I am your cheesy type of way, but in uh, the I want to be a better person because of you kind of way. Um, I want to be stronger uh, mentally, physically, and emotionally. I'm truly blessed to have you in my life, and I look forward to our next chapter. Uh, I'm even looking forward to the day that we're hanging out on the porch, surrounded by cats, and our children won't visit because their wives are allergic to said cats, and uh, we're still going to have a good time. Pet our kitty. Zuh. <laughs> I love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lisa. Wish I was there to celebrate. Wish you all the best.